Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make a card today. And the very first thing that we're going to do, let me take all my pieces out here, is this is a four and a quarter by five and a half card base. We have a piece of red cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to put that on the top. I'm going to go ahead and burnish this side right here because I don't think I did that when I folded it. There we go. And now we have a piece, and I cut this piece at, let me see, I cut this piece at three and a half, and then I used this little Fiskars heart punch, border punch, to punch down the sides of it to make the little hearts. And if I can find this, I'll link it below. I'm not sure. It's a bit, I've had it forever and a day. We're going to place that probably about right there. So I cut it at three and a half, and then it's uh, five and a half long. So it's the same length as the card. We're going to put that one about right there, I think. And this paper is... That same paper that we have in, I think we still have some up in stock. It's the Authentic Romance paper. I think there's still some in stock. I'm not sure. Haven't looked at inventory today. But see how those hearts, they really pop when they have that red behind them. I like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is make this a locking heart card I guess that's what you would call it we may call it something else by the time I post the video up but that's what we're going to call it right now so what I'm going to do I've cut out two hearts this one is approximately two and a half inches and then this one is two and I'm going to lay this one down somewhere close to the center not going to be too picky about it about right there and then I'm just gonna mark a little mark right there and a little mark right there and I'm not gonna be able to see that I don't think a little mark right there a little mark right there and I'm just gonna kind of join those marks so hopefully I can see everything you can see how to cut it I'm going to use my T-square ruler because that will help me get it straight, get my line straight. Since I can't see my markings, these things are wonderful. We have these in the store. If you don't have one, I'm going to link these below. They're fantastic for things like this. Let's see how high I need to go with it. From there to I need to make sure and I will tell you what I'm doing in just a second it's I have to mark it first and then talk okay what we're doing is we're marking off enough of an opening to get this heart through and I have just marked it down here at the bottom and I've marked it up here at the top And then what we're going to do is take our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut through all of that thickness. Now you could use your um, you could use your paper trimmer if you want to. Sometimes I can just go a little bit straighter if I do my X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to pull it over here on my glass mat. Hold it down good and tight. And I'm just going to make a couple of passes. I'm not going to try to get it all cut at once because I'm going through three layers. I'm through yet. You could also probably do this with your scissors. Just get you an opening started and then go from there. Okay, 
Okay, so there is our opening. Now, if you have a punch or something that'll do this, go for it, because that would be a lot easier than what I just did. But I don't have a punch that will do that, so we're just going to go with that. And now I have used another die that I have, and that's this one right here. All it does is punches out the holes for the hearts, so that's got that one. And I have cut this piece at two and three quarters by five and a half. And then this one I have cut at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And we're going to put this one down on top of that one and have this as the background. There we go, and then we're going to lay that down right there, and whatever shows through from here, what you're going to see is part of the hearts back there. And you could just cover this with another piece of paper if you wanted to. I have done that before too. You don't have to do this part. Just cover it with one of the pieces of paper that you used on the front, or whatever. Fine. I just thought that was cute. And then I still have plenty of room to write in here. Okay, now we're going to take our hearts, and I'm going to put the hearts together. I'm going to put this little red one on top. I'm just kind of centering it up to make sure that my little points are together because what I'm going to do now is drop everything sounds like what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these on my little line here and then I'm just going to score this down the center that way my heart will fold like I need it to just like that So that would go down in there, and then we're going to put it on some foam tape on the back because I want it to stand up a little bit. You don't want it to lay flat because it holds your card too tight. So just put it on some little skinny pieces of foam tape. And then, and I put that right down the center where that line is. And then what we want to do is just even it up in there and stick it to that back you may have to pull the little sides up to see if you've got it about even there we go all right so it locks the card down but then when the person opens it they've got the heart on the inside and when you close it you just Close the little heart up and lay it down, and you've got your little interlocking heart card. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that because it doesn't want to stick for some reason. So I'm going to put a little glue on the top of that foam tape so that heart will stick down there well. There we go. Okay, then I have used a die, and I got this from May May. Let me find it here. And this is a Gina Marie die, and it's all of these banners. And I've used the two smallest banners, and I cut this one out of black, and then this one out of white. And it does do the stitching around them, as you can see. Then I have this tiny, tiny little stamp, and it says, The Key to My Heart. And this is off of a stamp set, and I'm not sure what the name of it is. I forgot to put the name in here, but I think the name of it is Key to My Heart. If I can find this, I'll also link it below. That's all the items that you get in there. It's really, really cute. I'm not sure if they still make it anymore, but I will try my best to find it. Now, I'm going to do a little practice stamping 
because this stamp has not been used before other than just me stamping a little bit a minute ago. So let's put it, hopefully my head is not in the shot. Right there. There we go, that's cute. And then we're just going to glue this. Now I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape on the back of this. Try not to smear it because it's still drying, I'm sure. And I'm going to put that down right there. So then that will go there. And I am going to try to stamp a key right here. Comes out of that same stamp set. We'll see if I can do that. Key there. And then I have some little bling pieces that I'm going to put down the center of the heart. So I'm going to run that down through there. That little heart off of there. There we go. I'm going to put that down the center just like that. And it will still fold up and go through that opening. And then we're going to put this down right here. And I'm going to use another piece of foam tape to put that down. And there we go. There is a sweet card. You just fold it up. Open it up that way. And I am going to have to put some glue under here, looks like. Some of these pieces of bling have been in my hoard box for a long time, so I have to use a little bit of glue on them. I think I might stamp another key on the inside here. Let's stamp it right down here. There we go. Right, and that is it. We are finished. I have got some glue on those little beads, so I'm going to let those sit there and dry for just a minute. Try to close this back up while they're drying. There we go. There you go. There is your little interlocking heart card. I guess that's what we would call it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And when that little bell pops up, click that bell so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.